So, Nora, when you, she was a singer, she was an opera singer from Italy. Yes. Would you like to just expand upon that a little bit? Pardon? Could you tell us a little bit about Norma? Yes, Norma. Oh, I adored Norma. I looked up to her. She was just the queen of my life, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, I really, and she was very good to me, too. And a very good soprano. Very good uh, teacher. And her teaching was voice. Yes. Because she was an opera singer in Europe. And she had a, to kind of go back a bit, she had a, a contract for $40,000 for singing in Europe. And war broke out. She was a Canadian. She had to get out of there. And uh, so Giorgio, her husband, he had to get out of there too. Mm -hmm. I guess she'd married Giorgio in, in Italy. And so he had to get out of there because he had Canadian citizenship when he was here. Mm -hmm. And they escaped in a cattle boat. They had to leave valuables and everything behind. They just took a handful of valuables with them mm. that was in the house down there. And they had the little cabin that's down there on the Ghost River. Yes, well, he was partly responsible for building it. He worked on that himself, too. Yes. And uh, they had a man there uh, to help uh, with, with building it. And he wanted a, a large living room for Norman to sing. And we were rode down, I was about 14 that time, we were riding down for our lessons. We tied up the horses outside the yard, of course, and some trees, and then came in. We went to go in the house, we couldn't go in. Her voice was so big, we had to stand outside listening to her sing. I mean, she, her voice could fill the, one of those big opera houses in Europe. Mm. I mean, she was a leading color of truth. She sang uh, roles like um, Rigoletto, she sang Gilda, and La Traviata, she sang Violetta. And uh, one time when we were riding down there, I was about 14, we heard her sing, singing. When she came out. She was singing that Violetta's area from La Traviata oh, and playing and accompanying herself on the piano. I was absolutely spellbound. We were still on horseback going down the hill when we heard a voice coming up the hill. And we walked up to the house. We had to stand outside. We couldn't stay inside with her. Her voice was so big. Can you imagine? And it was tremendous high notes and, and one of the most difficult things. And uh, I used to be so disappointed in that opera uh, coming from the Met that I cried. They never had anybody that could sing like she did. And they, they miffed this. They put some mezzo in there who, uh, you know. Oh, I was, I was so mad I was crying one day. I said, no, must be jam because jelly doesn't shake like that. 